Welcome to Break Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander LS. Now what we'll do is run through the condition on the outside of the car as well as some of the features that does come in the 2020 model. Now starting off on that front end, we've got that beautiful dynamic shield um, look which has been incorporated across the Mitsubishi range. We've got that beautiful chrome plating on the outside there. The front, a lot of attention to detail. You've got a lot of different textures and things used here just to bring, of attention, bring a bit of attention to the front end of the car. Mitsubishi badging right in the middle there and you've also got this nice long head lights which do incorporate into that front bar quite beautifully and blends in nicely you've got projector globes fitted in there which are going to give you a really nice clear cut line of light you've got a high beams indicators and a daytime running light through the bottom there which is going to improve the visibility of the car during the day especially when you're driving around you do also get fog lamps fitted in there for foggy mornings like it was today now the paint work on this car is phenomenal please pay attention to it as much as you can there's a very minor superficial mark there but other than that this metallic paint work comes out beautifully now if you look at that first alloy wheel do get that multi-tone um, design so you've got that darker gunmetal finish and that polished aluminium on the outside the rim itself is in excellent condition we've got lots of tread remaining on those tires now the side mirrors and door handles are color matched to the car itself in that beautiful titanium color it is a pearlescent finish so you might see a bit of a sparkle to the actual paint itself do also get your um, indicator lamp fitted into that side mirror which actually elevates the lamp but also clears up this quarter panel for you um, and makes it look nice and neat now this car is a keyless entry car, you do get two fob keys with it. When you do lock the car, the side mirrors will fold in. You do also get a little button on the door handle here, which if I do press that, as long as you're within proximity, the door will open as well. Now I will note that inside the, uh, inside the actual um, handle bit here, there are a few light scratches there, just from standard um, opening the door, but a bit of wear and tear just for your information. Now taking a look inside the LS, these cars come with a suede and leather seat finish. So not a full leather or a full suede, but a combination of both and in my opinion this is a better option of the two as uh, it is actually quite comfortable and looks quite classy too. Now the LS comes with electric seat controls just for the driver's side seat. You can adjust these pretty much fully. You can move it up and down, forward and back. You've got your lean on the back as well and the lumbar support for those long drives. Now this car comes fitted with rubber floor mats, uh, genuine Outlander rubber floor mats as well. And now the inner plating here is also in good condition, no damage or wear and the door card also presents really well. Now I will note that the car does have a privacy glass, so this is a slightly darker glass on the front if you can notice. That is only because this car, uh, this window sorry, is dyed. It doesn't actually provide the same protection as tint, it's just to stop people from peeking into the back. So please speak to us about our tinting options. If this is a family vehicle, we do highly, highly recommend you tint these cars. Now taking a look in the back of the car, it's already been set up for us. So these seats have actually been put flat. You can fold these completely flat for you. Those will also fold flat if you need to utilize the whole boot space to transport something. Otherwise, Otherwise, it does come up quite easily just so I can demonstrate it to you like so and you can click it back in really easily quite an easy system to show and I'm happy to demonstrate that to you when you do come in but the seats itself are in excellent condition now the second alloy is also completely unmarked no damage whatsoever and you've got lots of tread remaining on the back of those tires coming across to the tailgate of the car very nice outlander back end you've got um, your brake lights and reverse lights down here so you've got one reverse lamp and you've also got all the reflectors now the LS models come with reverse parking sensors which are color matched to the car and a uh, reverse camera on the back you do also get a uh, rear wiper and washer and a high mounted brake light just under that beautiful spoiler there now if you open up the boot do get kind of like a little pad it's not so much a latch but a little pad and if you lift that up you can see the amount of boot space in the back of the car with all seven seats down I mean sorry the two the third row seats down and you can pull them up also quite easily. Now these rear seats are full leather um, all the way through. The middle, the second row seats are half leather, half suede as the front is. Now you can drop these down pretty easily like that if you needed to use a bit full back space. You do get two cup holders and a 12 volt input and also a cargo blind which is just going to keep things nice and private in the back. That is just a spring loaded system that will just go into there and that will pull out a shade which will uh, go into these compartments and that is just to keep any um, groceries or whatever it might be private so that no one's looking into the back of your car. Now coming across to the passenger side, fuel filler cap is on the passenger side which is the safe side so if you do have to pull over in case of emergency you know you're going to be not in the way of any oncoming traffic. That third rim is also completely unmarked, yep just a little bit of dirt, the third rim is completely unmarked, no damage and lots of tread. Now the paintwork on the passenger side is also in excellent excellent condition I'm trying to be really picky for you guys but I can't see anything on this paintwork at the moment 
Uh, the fourth and final rim, generally the one that gets the most damage, is also completely unmarked. So we've got four unmarked rims, lots of tread remaining on the tires. The paintwork around the car is, is really, really good. There's no damage or marks or scratches whatsoever. And this is just a great car. Now what we're going to do is uh, pop the hood and take a look inside. You can look inside the engine bay of the Outlander. What we have here is Mitsubishi's 2.4 litre uh, four-cylinder petrol motor and it is a Myvec motor it does come fitted with a six-speed automatic gearbox and nice, nice smooth shifts between gears and a very comfortable ride in these big cars as well now this Outlander has a five-star ANCAP rating with seven airbags so lots of safety for all the passengers inside the car and as I said before, uh, this motor produces 124 kilowatts of 220 newton meters of torque, so get enough torque and power for any um, payload needs. This car is a petrol car with a 63 litre capacity, does run in your regular 91 fuel, uh, has a combined fuel consumption of 7.2 litres per 100 kilometres and an average fuel distance of about 875 kilometres off a full tank, depending on how you drive and how many people are in the car. Take a look inside the Outlander now, as you can see it's a very well laid out car, beautiful design, lots of space, yet you still get all the features that you would need in a car. Now, uh, starting off on the driver's side though, do get all your power window settings. They are full automatic windows, both up and down. Above that is your central locking and your window lock just to stop everyone from paying around with the windows. And above that is your side mirror controls as well. Now, these will fold in with the little button at the top here, but like I said, when you do lock the card, these will still fold in for you just to notify you as well. Now on the right hand side of the dash, you've got a few little buttons here. This first one here is a card button. Now that's just for the little display in your cluster. That's gonna give you a bit of driver information like trip A, trip B, fuel consumption, things like that. You've got your stability control and your headlight height adjuster. Below that, you've got two blank spots if you wanted to add anything extra on the car, like a light bar. Um, your parking sensor button, which you can turn them on and off. Your lane departure warning and forward collision mitigation system. Now these are your safety features. We'll be happy to elaborate on these um, when you do come in if you don't know what they are. Now on the right hand stock of the steering wheel are your left and right indicators, your fog lamp controls in the middle and your headlamp controls and high beam. Now these have an automatic um, high beam and automatic light system so you just leave it in auto, car's going to decide when it needs to turn the lights on and your auto high beam will, uh, button is there to turn that on as well. On the left hand side are your wipers and washers so your rear wipers and washers are here and your main one, um, your front ones are just on the stalk here which again they are automatic rain sensing systems, you just leave it in auto, car's going to decide when it needs to use it. Your steering wheel is a very beautiful leather stitch steering wheel. It does have this nice piano black uh, gloss plate and the chrome finishes on the outside. Just make it look a little bit classier and a little bit nicer to actually sit in and look at. On the right hand side are all your cruise control options. So your cruise control on and off, cancel, set and rest, reset and you've also got um, your speed limiter and adaptive cruise control button below that. On the left hand side are your media controls, so volume, seek options, mode, voice control and call and reject. And also behind that is the most important button on the dash which is your engine stop start button as it is a keyless entry car. Now coming over to the entertainment system. You got an updated bigger head um, head unit compared to the previous models. So you've got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, AM, FM radio, and USB Connect, and Bluetooth Connect with your mobile phone. No phones connected at the moment, so nothing's going to pop up. You've got your settings for your car. Um, multimedia which is your radio settings and info which is just driver information for the car itself. When you do plug this in you will get your Android Auto Apple CarPlay which looks a little bit nicer than this but it's all practicality. Below that is your climate control so you've got dual climate control, driver and passengers have their own settings, fan speeds in the middle and all your different mode options below that. Hazards nice and easy to access. 12 volt char uh, socket for any additional charging. You do also get another compartment here, now that is for the key. These keys do come with a physical key, so if your battery does die, you do have a key to actually open the door. But to start the car, you will need to put this into this compartment and then press the button. Now that is only if this battery dies. If it doesn't die, you can have it in your pocket and the car will start up. Do you get a USB socket below that? If you can pull this out, USB socket, and you've also got an eco mode button which is going to save you a little bit of uh, fuel as well, and plenty of blank buttons to add anything to the car. You've got two cup holders with a uh, compartment that will cover it up, um, and a nice leather stitch gear shift. Now if I bring that into reverse, you can see that reverse camera that I pointed out before, the rear bar, very clear at the bottom then, if you, do, if you do get a tow bar fitted, you'll be able to see that really clearly in the car as well. Put it back in the park, you've got a little compartment here, I like to keep the keys there. Do also get electric park brakes in this model and an auto hold, now that is just going to hold the car there until you accelerate, especially if you're stopped at the lights and things like that. Do you get a beautiful leather stitch center console armrest, if I lift that up, you've got plenty of storage under there, a um, little bit of wear and tear marks, just so you are aware 
uh, when you do get into the car, but it's nothing major, just very superficial things on the inside. Roof lining is in excellent condition. Seats are also in very good condition. The suede is maintained really well. The dash is also completely unmarked. No scratches or chips or marks or stains. Back seats and carpets are also in very good nick. So this is a great car and these Outlanders are phenomenal cars if you've done much research on them. Probably one of the more, pop, probably the most populous, popular car out of the Mitsubishi range. Now what we're going to do is actually jump outside and wrap up the video. Thank much for watching the walk around video on this 2020 Mitsubishi Outlander LS in this titanium color. I hope the video gave you a good representation as to the condition of this car as well as some of the features that do come in the LS models. Now, if you have any additional questions or wanted to test drive this car, I actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. The number to dial is 9907055. Just before I go though, this car does qualify for our Platinum One program. Now, what that will give you is like for like new car warranty up to 200,000 kilometers and adds an additional five years on top of the existing warranty of your car. So these cars you generally will keep for a long time, so there is great value in this. So please speak to us about this option. In addition to that, I do highly recommend you take advantage of the glass coat and tinting. Now again, that is gonna give you a lifetime warranty on this beautiful pearlescent titanium paintwork. It's also gonna make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain and protect it from all the harsh environmental factors that does affect and contaminate your paint. It also, we will also package that in with some tinting for you, which we all know the added benefits of tinting and we do highly recommend it on all family vehicles. Now, these two things are at an additional cost. However, if you are using our in-house finance, I would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just how minimal diesel affects your repayments. Now, lastly, but most importantly, jump on a Google, check out our Google reviews. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, it gives you the buyer the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. As I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Mason and thank you so much for watching.